Hello and welcome. The ICSC Council conducted a two-day meeting which was both real and virtual with its principals from schools across the country. Now, what happened at this meeting? Well, a lot of interesting facts, but let me share with you the Mota Mota headlines. Facts and only facts. See the bath, no bakwas. So stay with the video right till the end and I'll say something which I normally don't say. Do subscribe to the channel. Uh, there were lots of questions which were posed by principals relating to the performance in the semester 1 ICSC and ISC examinations. Were there answers provided? Well, yes and no. First point was about the mistakes in the question papers and or the answer key. The principals pointed out that there were more than one correct answer or no correct answer for many questions in some subjects. So how did the council deal with it was the question posed by the principals. Were the children penalized? Gary Arathon, the CEO of the council said and I am quoting him here verbatim. We are a child friendly body. The benefit of doubt was given to the children in all cases where there were issues with the questions. We have looked into it. He said marks were given to students wherever there were mistakes. We did not deprive any child. Ye baat kahi Gary Arathon ne ki kisi bhi vidyarthi ke saath na insafi nahi hui. Unko marks alag se diye gaye. Jaan par bhi mistakes thi, galtiyan thi. Answer key mein ya question paper mein. One principal from Kerala disagreed. She said that her students did not get the benefit of doubt to which the council asked her or any principal who had a similar grievance or complaint to give the UID numbers, UID numbers of students who they thought did not get the benefit of doubt. Ye bhot badi baat hai. Unhone ka, the council will look into it. Now this is an important point and I want students to take note of it because how this will be done outside the purview of the rechecking process, I don't know. That was not clarified at all. I am telling you what was said exactly at this particular meeting. Okay. So it's for you to kind of discuss with the principals of your school if you feel that you are one of those students who did not get the benefit of doubt. There was another question which was asked specifically about the physics paper with the principal pointing out that because of the semester 1 physics paper results, both ICSC and ISC, there is now fear among the students when it came to the physics examination, physics subject. So she requested the council to look into it. She said many of her students have done very well in mathematics, in chemistry, in biology. But when it came to the physics paper, for instance, in ICSC, they have got 30 out of 40 marks. The council representatives responded by saying, we have noted Gary Arathon said, I assure all principals that we will take care of the results. Okay, I don't know what that meant. One principal said that in view of the not so great results of many students in the semester 1 examinations, the weightage to be given to semester 1 and semester 2 should be reconsidered. Okay, the council did not address that question directly. It just said, all students will pass, no one will fail. Again, not sure what that actually meant. There was a question about practical examinations that in subjects like physical education, even computer applications was mentioned, where no practicals have been possible or very few practicals have been possible because students have not been in school for many months through this academic year. So the question asked was whether any consideration will be given to the students. Okay. The teacher also pointed out that there are some schools who increase the marks, who inflate the marks in order to make the school results look good. But there are some schools, she probably meant her own school, where this was not done, an honest job was done. Gary Arathon simply said, the marks are in your hands. The other big question that was asked was whether a student will be eligible to sit in semester 2 examination if he or she had missed more than one examination in the semester one, right? Uh, the council position is that if a child has even partially appeared in the semester one examinations, given few papers, he or she will be permitted to take the semester two examination. Last question, last two points, and this is important. Will there be a two semester system in 2022-23? That is the next academic year. Gary Arathon said, and listen to this carefully, I'm quoting him. We may 
or may not have a semester system. We are waiting for some clarity from the education ministry. Semester 1 and 2 was done in 2021-22 because of the pandemic situation. Nowhere in the new education policy it is mentioned that there should be a semester system. NEP only talks about improvement examination which will be there. It is not clear in the NEP what they are asking for. Decision will be taken after the semester 2 gets over. Now let's look at the NEP since Gary Arathon made a mention of the education policy. The NEP says boards may over time also develop further viable models of board examinations that reduce pressure and the coaching culture. Some possibilities include a system of annual, semester, modular board exams could be developed that each test there would be far less material so that the pressure from exams is better distributed, less intense and less high stakes kind of examination which I think is a very sensible idea, very sensible idea, very student friendly. So my point is if the semester system really helps reduce the pressure on the child, on the entire education system, why not? Moreover, it gives every student two chances. Suppose the semester one doesn't go well in one subject, he or she gets a second chance to make up. Improvement exams give you a sense of failure. You know, you did not do well, so you are trying to do almost like a flunked student trying to appear in a compartment examination. It's not a very great feeling in that sense. Semester 1 and semester 2, I think they distribute the entire syllabus load very well. And I personally feel they should be continued. The last point on improvement examinations, the CISC has said that those who got less marks in the examination will have the opportunity to apply for the improvement examination after the semester 2 final results. Okay. So this was all that mota mota headlines of what transpired at the council meeting. Hope you found it useful. There are lots of things which are of use and relevance to the board examination students both class 10 and 12. Happy studying. Happy revision. Stay safe.